Hey guys, greetings. I'm here in Houston, Texas, okay, at my disciples' place, okay, Master Brett Ryan's. I'd like to uh, give him some recognition and kind of uh, let the public know about, you know, his accomplishment over the years, especially in the art of Wing Chun, you know. He's a humble guy with great skills, runs one of the biggest school in, uh, in the U.S. when it comes to Wing Chun. Okay, so I want to use this opportunity to kind of uh, introduce you guys. Okay, first of all, this whole wall, okay, it's kind of like our tongue where we showcase who we are. But okay? this is our family trees. You know, from the Wing Chun Museum, we introduced the, the red flag, the black flag, and then the mainstream Wing Chun. We kind of gotten all the pieces combined. Okay, so now we're passing on to all our disciples, instructors, and masters, okay? So Sifu Brad Ryan, he's been with me for over two decades. And currently he is uh, a master level ranking Dai Sifu with six degree under Shaolin Wing Chun. But he's also uh, one of the unique Wing Chun masters that actually graduated, certified, and trained by the Shaolin Temple. This is one of the Shaolin instructors a certification program that was originally meant for the insiders, the Shaolin monks. They had a one single class that was open and we took the opportunity and have the honors, got trained with the monks, got certified with the monks and so forth, okay? So he is not only uh, a Wen Chun master, also certified from the Shaolin temple, okay? Uh, for example, okay, uh, here's a photo of him, okay? Now if you go to the Shaolin temple, there are Literally, this is a northern temple, okay? 15th century of histories, okay? And you see there's a, a stone statue. There's a wall that you go into the temple, and there, along the wall there is uh, statues, okay? And those represent the ancient masters and grandmasters of Chan Buddhism and all those exceptional peoples. So only recently they're allowed to have a new stone, which is never heard of, and this stone was for Wen Chun only, okay? And it's once in a lifetime opportunity, myself, Sifu Brad Ryan, Master Brad Ryan, the Wen Chun Museum, and a couple other uh, of our certified instructors, actually our name is forever engraved on the statues in the Shaolin temples, okay? Um, and this is a graduation class, okay? Master Brad Ryan, okay? Master Chango Nos, myself, and then Sifu Vincent Ming, my son. But this is uh, the only four Wen Chun instructors around that is actually certified from the Shaolin Temple. Okay, um, so we learn about Chan meditation, Qi Gong, all the Shaolin Gong Fu's, and so forth and so forth. Okay, so and here's the certificates. Now, besides being um, uh, a senior sis, uh, senior master in our Shaolin Wen Chun Kung Fu family, okay, uh, Master Ryan also is instructor under the Wen Chun Museum, okay. Not just any instructors, is senior instructors, okay. Uh, they only had two training uh, opportunity and two classes. One time was in Hong Kong, the other time was in the uh, Wing Chun Museum, okay? Total combined out of all this time, uh, you know, today's month's lineage over millions of people, okay? There was only less than 45 people uh, certified as senior instructors. So that means you got the grandmaster, the elders, the students of Yipman, direct students, and under that group, the highest ranking will be the senior masters, okay, senior instructors. So myself and Master Ryan is one of the graduation uh, people. We got to train directly for a whole week, eight hours a day with four of the legends, okay. Uh, Yip Jing, the younger son, Okay, my Sifu Muyad, Yub Chen, the older son, Choi Santin, and at that moment Choi Santin was the Si Hing. And also there were other instructors, direct students of Yiman, they were there to witness this, which 
if you look at this, there are signatures from Choi Sun Ting, okay, Mui Bing Hua, okay, Mok Po, Jung Ho Kin, Hawkins Jung, Yup Jin, Yup Jin, Mui Yun, myself, it's part of this special event, okay. Now, since then, there are no other senior, instruct, uh, senior instructors. That kind of tells you how special it was. Uh, and it would not be the same in the future because it would not be run by the direct student of Yip Mun's, okay? So this is just kind of some of the special qualification we have to represent our lineage as well as our Kung Fu families, okay? Most of our other certified instructors are just as capable, went through the history, uh, training outside of the system, and be able to connect with the uh, outside of the Wen Chen community into the Kung Fu community and then into all the other martial art community, including the MMA. See, for Brad Ryan, right, he himself has produced pro fighters in MMA, uh, champions in Sanda and so forth. Okay? Himself is also uh, very active uh, in competition. Even though now he's a master, he still competed and this is uh, one of his latest accomplishments, himself a national champion in Wen Chen competitions. Okay, this is at the Wusu Championship. Um, you know, to kind of tell you guys the good news now, uh, I will have more details, but international Wusu federations currently recognize Wen Chen as an official event in the Wusu. So the bigger picture is Wusu uh, is going towards the Olympics, okay? So I will give you guys more details on that, okay? So there are so many other certificates throughout the wall. So I'm very proud of my disciple, Master Brett Ryan. Uh, he continued to, to strive to uh, make an impact at his local uh, schools, but nationally as well as national, uh, internationally. Okay, he helps me with magazine articles, DVDs, and so forth. Uh, and this December, we'll be traveling to China for the first official World Championship from the International Wusu Federations. Okay, so I want to say uh, uh, hello and, and very proud of uh, Master Brian, uh, Brett, Brett Ryan's accomplishments. Okay, I'm here in Houston. Uh, Main Small Shower of Katie.